three first rounders. A third and five. A little pump fake, and that one tipped and intercepted. Off the tip ball, down the sideline, out of bounds at the 40 yard line. That's Jordan Fuller, the safety. Third and eight for the Hoosiers. Lego in the pocket. Will throw and he threw another one kind of behind his target. I don't know if it wouldn't have if it would have mattered. Keep an eye on number five, Kel Walker. Already some big plays in this one for him. Bradford keeps it, gets it outside to Walker, who's shut down by Damon Webb and Jordan Fuller. Fourth down. From the secondary to step up and make plays. They're going to be responsible for the pitch man. And you can see Fuller getting past the wide receiver, Webb. On top of his assignment. Drew Crispin is his holder. Gets this one down, blocked, loose. Maryland trying to recover. It trickles out of bounds. Haskell Garrett. They give it to him. And Benji won't get it this time. What a play on defense for Ohio State, Jordan Fuller. A four-yard loss, and Penn State has to punt. Exactly what everyone else knows is that he's going to get a run with Saquon Barkley, so he floods the area. Three linebackers stay in position, sends a safety. Jordan Fuller in to make the tackle. First play of quarter number two off the play fake. Nick Stanley taking a shot. Able to hook up a fence. And he's inside the 10. No Fant. First throw. This was big time here. He had Fant. He had to throw it over the linebacker. Baker right there. That is not an easy throw. Dropped it in perfectly. Second down and six. O'Corn gives it to Evans. And Evans bottled up. Look at that Ohio State defense in hot pursuit. Finally knocked out by Fuller. Plays really made by Jerome Baker. Watch how he's going to come up slowly from his linebacker spot. And then he's just going to crease couple of missed blocks. He doesn't make the tackle, but he blows up the play, and then the pursuit is able to get. Michigan down by four. First down at their own 27. Play fake. O'Corn throws deep. Intercepted by Ohio State. Jordan Fuller with the ball. And the Buckeyes are out of bounds at midfield. The first turnover of the game. But there is a flag at the 33-yard line. O'Core, where was he throwing this part? Well, first of all, he got disguised out of this throw. They're going to run a safety back in the middle of the field. At this point right here, the post turns into a hook. That's a read route. O'Corn didn't read it properly. The wide receiver did. And O'Corn throws it deep as if he's going to get a long pass, but you can't throw that into a middle safety. That's why identification in the post snap. Ancelot back on the field in motion. On the swing. Jordan Fuller read that beautifully. A loss of one back to the 29. Middle of the field is where they try to attack here against this man coverage. And they hand it to Sanders. And Sanders bulldozes, makes the cut, is knocked down just short of the marker at the 24. So it's fourth down. Now they show pressure up the middle. And McSorley still got the football. Makes the cut. And dives down short he's of the marker. The It'll be fourth down. Dare, dare I say this could be the only year he sees at Ohio State if he keeps this up? I'll tell the locals that. That's the 13th straight pass play. Fumble is out. Taylor couldn't hold on. And ruling him down. The ruling on the field is the runner was down prior to the ball coming loose. It's like it may be close. Reese Taylor spins around trying to get more yards, and there's tough. And that ball, my friends, is out. As Taylor goes to the ground. And again, it's reviewable to who recovers it. The ruling on the field that the runner was down, part of the ball coming loose. Boys up front. Here is Ozigbo sticking the shoulder down, keeps the feet churning, but can't get there. Patterson bounces out of the pocket, pursued and intercepted. Chase Young, he's going to be coming around here. Watch as Patterson's trying. I think he's trying to throw this away, and I think he gets his arm just as he lets it go. It flutters, and then that's how Jordan Fuller is able to come down with the ball. 
Only the fifth interception thrown by Shea Patterson all season long in this Buckeye defense. They came to play today. I was playing so hard that day. I was like, I can't let him win on this, too. I hear you, Thorson. Hit by Young as he throws. Great pressure by Ohio State. Immediate action after the whistle. There's the play. You can make an argument that's coming loose before Thorson's arm starts to move forward. Boy, that's awfully close. Call on the field is incomplete. Dean Blandino is with us, our rules expert. Dino, what do you think? Yeah, like Joel said, this is really close, but you do have a clear recovery. Second and 15. Thorson looks back side, and he has his receiver, Holman. Berkeley Holman wrapped up. How high can you go? I mean, the potential of this team is, is incredible. Thorson hit as he throws the football. Running this style of offense, quarterback has to be incredibly efficient. Fuller. They were trying to block the edge, but just getting shoved backwards was the tight end Hunter Bryant, not the most physical guy. Third and 15. Quick throw out to Thomas. He's not going to get anywhere near the line again to gain, not even back to the original line of scrimmage. So Miami will punt it. First time JD's been targeted tonight. Their top receiver coming in. Martinez from the pocket launches a high throw, and that's a dive in pick by Jordan Fuller. That's the hat trick of picks for the secondary. We cannot be careless with the ball. Three interceptions in the first half. Defensive backs, again, playing a lot more zone. And the reason that's important, I'm going to continue to say that, is it gets everybody's eyes on the quarterback and on the football. So when there is a ball and a miscommunication like that, you're able to make a play on it. Jordan Fuller able to see that playing center field, jumps it and makes a play, gives this Ohio State offense the ball right. Interested parties curious to see if this part can cut into the lead or if he pressured in the face. Ball batted in the air, and it's going to be picked off by Jordan Fuller on the carom. Here comes Fuller with space, gets the sideline, cuts it back, still going. Can they chase him down? They cannot! Fuller with the pick six! There is a flag down the way back in Ohio State territory. It's blind side block. Here's another look at the Yeah, pick. Chase Young's going to force Lewerke to get the ball out. But everybody wants to know what's the difference in Ohio State zone to man from last year to this year. Safety in the middle, and the linebackers all have their eyes on the football. Why does that matter? Now, you tip a ball, there's a safety sitting there watching, able to make a play on it and come up with a big interception. Great point. The second pick this year for Fuller. Devon has three sacks on the season. They've been playing extremely well in the interior of this front. Johnny Langan. This time able to complete it. And then a fumble at the end of it. Did Ohio State recover? Yes, they did. Well, you'll see number 24, Sean Wade, drives on the football. His left arm gets in there, and then Okuda, when he comes over, looks like his face mask hits the ball out before any part of Washington hits the turf. See it bouncing around there. Jordan Fuller able to jump on it, but let's see if Okuda's face mask hits that. Yep, yep. right there. It's already moving before he hits the turf. And...